Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to use the Donic D4 drag knife with the Stepcraft M1000 CNC to cut leather to make a new sheath for a hatchet that I carry in the woods with me all the time. Without further ado, let me show you how I made it. I carry this hatchet out in the woods on our property every time that I go out there and the sheath for it has been completely ruined. So it's time to fix that today and make something a bit more proper for it. So we're going to use the Stepcraft M1000 CNC with the vacuum table run by the Fine Turbo One Vacuum to hold down the leather and we'll use the Donic D4 drag knife to go through and cut that leather. This drag knife will work on any CNC machine that can take a quarter inch shank bit and is available on our website. It uses a utility knife blade as the blade for the drag knife, so the blade changes are extremely inexpensive and super easy to do. They do last quite a while as well. It went through and cut the leather in two passes and it did a great job. I just set a ramp in on a profile cut that is on the line within the design software and it does a great job following along the CNC. The spindle is turned off for this operation, so it's just simply following the movements of the CNC around as it's moving. So there's a bearing in there that allows it to do that. So once it's done cutting, we can get that moved out of the way. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and go ahead and hit that bell so that you'll be notified on all of the new videos when they're released. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Tools Today. Shut off the vacuum table and get all of our pieces pulled out. It did a really nice job and I'm super pleased with how well it cut all of this leather and it definitely turned out really nice. You can see just how well it cut there. So now we can take our pieces over to the workbench and get this set up again. I'm gonna switch out for a plotting pen. This is the Stepcraft one and we do sell that on our website as well. And we're gonna use this to plot out where all of the holes for all of the pieces are going to be. I used this on paper so that way I could transfer it over to the leather really easily. So the plotting pen is essentially just that. It's a pen that mounts in the CNC much like the drag knife and just follows along with the movements of the CNC drawing wherever we have it programmed to. So we got that all pulled off after the vacuum was turned off and we got that all cut out. So now I have a reference point for each one of my pieces and can use that to mark out where I need to punch out all of the holes. So on the main pieces, we're going to install part of the snaps here before we get everything glued together. So then we can just get it all glued. And I just use some binder clips here and some spring clamps to hold everything together. I did it in two layers, so that way the welt didn't move on me as I was going through and doing this leather. I moved over to the belt sander to get everything down to final size, got that all cleaned off, and then just used this to help sand down the leather so everything was nice and flush. This is my first time really doing any sort of real leather work, so please don't take this as a tutorial on how to work with leather, as I'm certainly no expert. I'm just learning, and I had a lot of fun doing it. It's always fun to learn something new. And I do still have a long ways to go. I use my templates to help with marking out the holes again, and then I'll just mark out for where my stitching is going to go, and then I'll get that all punched through using the punch, and then I'll bevel the edges. This was one of the most satisfying processes of the whole thing. It was really cool. It's kind of cool to see how uh, leather work kind of correlates with woodworking and how you would treat the edges, similar to like a chamfer. So now it's time to do all the stitching. I made a makeshift pony clamp out of a twin hand screw clamp and it actually worked out pretty well. It's my first time doing any sort of hand stitching like this and I definitely got better as I went along. It started out a little bit uneven, but as we went along, it turned out to be all right. I'll just get that all burned off and then push down into the edge to finish off the stitching. And it turned out pretty decent. So then I'll use rivets to go through and reinforce all of the corners to make sure that those don't come apart from the ax going in and out of it. So we got all of that done and then I'll treat the edge and burnish that to give it a nicer look and also help everything hold together a little bit longer. It's really cool to see that process. But anyways, that is now done. So we have the ax sheath portion of this done and everything fit absolutely perfectly. So we got all of that ready to go. And I also wanted to make a holster for it. So I had all those parts that I cut out for it. And this is a piece that will attach to my backpack. It can also attach to a belt if I wanna wear it on my hip, but I'd usually just leave it on my backpack since that I carry that everywhere with me. So this holster will just make that easier and give me really nice easy access to it. So basically I got all the snaps installed, everything riveted together, and you can see how that works. I really can't stand the way that the ax looks with all this really nice leather. So we're gonna go ahead and get it all cleaned up. I sanded off the finish on the edge, got all of the gunk off of the blade itself, and then sharpened and stropped the blade. And it's definitely looking quite a bit better. We got everything finally sanded down, and then I put a coat of boiled linseed oil on there instead of the nasty lacquer finish that was on it. And then I used some walrus oil leather wax to go ahead and finish this leather, and it looks absolutely beautiful. I love the way that this whole project turned out, and it definitely looks much better uh, snapping onto a clean ax. 
and it makes the whole thing look quite a bit better. So anyways, this is definitely something that I will use quite a bit. You can see how it snaps onto my backpack here, and then I'm able to have everything all held in place, and I have easy access, because usually when I get somewhere that I'm gonna be working in the woods, I hang the backpack up, and I have easy access to the hatchet there. So anyways, this is done. I absolutely love the way that this project turned out. It's definitely inspired me to wanna do more leather work, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. We will catch you guys back out here on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe right over here. And for more great videos, click right over here.